Hello again. So this is, uh, I guess, the second video of the how to lower the GPU temperature. And really, it does. It's it will probably work for like all the GPUs out there. Even if it's like 30 series, like 37, 80s, 90s, or whatever. Any other GPU, I, I guess they all have like similar issues. So after I did the heat sinks, and I got some not too bad results, lower, managed to lower like uh, 4, 6 degrees, like around 6 degrees I, I said, I think on the MSI. Okay. Now for the ASUS, I did the same, the heat six on the back, unfortunately really there is very little difference, like uh, I managed to get it to 104, 102, but mostly 104 will stay. Before it was I think 106, 108, so it was it, it did lower a bit, but didn't really make that much difference. I was a bit disappointed. However, my next step was to do some clamps. And here it is the clamps. So I did some custom custom clamps. I bought this uh, aluminium from uh, Home Depot. Cut at the measure you need. These are like 15 centimeter long. Uh, enough, uh, just enough to uh, fit the GPU. And uh, very easy to work with, very easy to, to drill, like pretty strong. You, you, if you use it this way, it doesn't, doesn't cover too much of the, of the GPU surface either. Just to make sure they're gonna be right in between the fans. So they're not, it's not gonna like, uh, sort of like touch the fan or when they're speeding, when they spin. Unfortunately, because of the wire connections, I cannot use two of these. Ideally, I would wanted to use two of these. Like, uh, but I need to use like one of these and then uh, two of the little ones. The little one will, will go like that, like you see in there. That's the little one. And because the wire connection are on the bottom of the GPU, you cannot go all the way. So I'm just gonna put like one little in there, another short one from the bottom, probably more on the corner somewhere. And then this one. Uh, the full one so I only did the ASOS right now I'm still I'm gonna do the MSI I have on the bottom on the MSI I did a wire in there <laughs> just to see how it is like my, that was my my initial clamp and there was a there was any like a two or four four degrees I think improvement now when I'm gonna switch to this one I'll probably see even better results on the MSI as well however so the it, it is great news actually uh, from the the ASUS was running at 104 Celsius, and now check this out. This is crazy. Like this is like so much better. I didn't expect that much. So the memory junctions right now, it sits at 90, 92. So from 104 to 92, like 12 degrees Celsius. That's crazy. I didn't expect that much. You can see it in here, 104, like the maximum that used to run before to do this. It has been running for like four hours now. Nothing changes. It remained to like 92. So huge, huge, huge decrease in in temperature, at least for the ASUS. Okay, so this is it, 92 degrees Celsius from 104, 12 degrees Celsius less. So, oh look, now it's like running up 90. That's 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 a little bit better, like 14, 90, 92. So basically, this clamps is like, like the best solution. Probably, you, if you don't, if you don't do the heat sink on the back, this will still help a lot. Adding the heat sinks does even better, obviously. But just by doing this, you will do like a lot. So if I have to choose one of them right now, the the quickest one will be just do this, and we'll lower. If you want to go even farther, just add heat sinks, and we'll do even better. But yeah, this is like uh, so. Obviously, at least for the ASUS, I'm still gonna have to do the MSI, the clamp, and see the real difference. But for ASUS, the the major issue it is there's not enough pressure. Uh, obviously, if I change the pads, I, I didn't want it to open the the back plate or anything. Um, and you put basically maybe not necessarily better thermal pads i'm pretty sure asus they're using like very very good stuff to build up the gpus they probably use i would assume they also use like good thermal pads uh 
usually people what does they'll just put slightly thicker pads let's see if they if right now there is a one millimeter two and three i understand there's a mixture of these three or there are some pads of one millimeter some of two and some of three basically you want to do like one and a half and like sort of like increase a bit the thickness that's that's not necessarily the best way it's always better the thinner the the better heat transfer but uh, yeah it's better than just leave it stuck obviously without pressure nothing but i think the i don't think you can better results you can get a better results if you change the pads and just leave it as it is i think probably the i don't think you're gonna get under 92 degrees no ways if, if you change the pads i don't think it's gonna go lower than this so obviously the pads are not an issue just the pressure and what's good about these uh, custom clamps is that uh, uh, you, you'll just uh, wrap that around the CPU and just start tightening the nuts and you just do the amount of pressure that you want. Whereas if you buy something like a clamp like, uh, well not like this but like this kind of, of thing, it's gonna have a, a fixed amount of pressure, it may even be too much, you know, that you don't want that and you just want the right amount of pressure and uh, also they will be like like bulky and like too big and most of them they don't open more than like two inches wide and this kind of needs a bit more than that so you, you need like a fairly like big clamps and so well this is like aluminium lightweight uh, this is the, like the best solution just do some custom one it's probably the cheaper one as well i bought like one of these like uh like this sort of aluminium rod it's like a like 15 Canadian dollar from Home Depot and this is if you get one of that that's enough to do like like three or four GPUs and then you get this kind of a uh, walls these are like uh, 316 by 4 inches so basically you need 4 inches uh, maybe a bit even shorter depends on the what you use but for this like uh, this is the the perfect size is what it is okay so I, I may be even able to push the, the GPUs even more right now they are running at 122 mh per second after this I probably should be able to, to go like a bit higher I, I don't want to go higher though that's not my goal my goal was to lower the temperature I'm pretty happy with 122 uh, my, my goal was to lower uh, the temperature, the memory the junction temperature as, as much as possible and uh, I'm running the same settings like you see 80% power, minus 200 core clock and uh, plus 1150 uh, memory and uh, before it used to run at the 51, 52 the asus one and now it runs at 50 so this also had an impact obviously on the overall cpu temperature that also lowered a bit the msi they they do run a bit cooler though 149 148 but also this asus doesn't have any additional fans on it this is just staying outside the case right now no fans nothing while the other two they are they are exposed they are like uh, fans inside the case that they're pushing here so I, I will assume if I will put a fan, and I do plan to put a fan right there, that will probably uh, help a, a couple more degrees Celsius to, to lower the uh, the GPU. That's my next project to add a fan in there. So yeah, that's pretty that's pretty pretty much it. Uh, that's the setup right now. I'm running three three thirty nineties. I do plan to get a fourth one and to have it installed right here like three on top one on the bottom that should give me near five probably like around 480 i guess mh per second something like that um, i have a four two power supply one 1600 watts that should be okay for this four i have another one of 1000 watts that if i'm gonna get a couple more in the future it will be for that but like uh, for this setup right here, since I already have the uh, the power supply, the EBJ 1600 T2 uh, Platinum that can handle like three of these, like no issues still, and it's probably gonna be using two of these that they they need like around 300 uh, 
watts use per GPU. The MSI actually needs a bit less. The MSI runs at 190, like 295, and the ASUS I think is like three. Let's see. Okay, so here it is. GPU power total, 312, 321, maximum. Current is 312, maximum 321. And the ASUS, the MSI, MSI, 294, maximum 304. So the ASUS with exactly the same settings, exactly the same uh, minus uh, 200 clock and plus 11.50 memory and 80% power, the ASUS does run, uh, needs a bit more power, like 20 watts more or less extra. But yeah, even so with like four of these uh, uh, plus my CPU, they are probably around like uh, no more than uh, I guess like probably like around 1400 the PSU can do 1600 so that should be I'm not sure if it is 80% or 85% but that that should be around the uh, recommended the ideal so yeah okay so here it is they are both running the same 36450 approximately you can see that the uh, MSI 12157, 12142, and 12150 the ASUS RTF. So exactly the same settings. The uh, temperature is very similar, slightly, slightly more on the ASUS. But again, the ASUS doesn't have any extra external fans. When I'll put, when I'll do one for sure, it's going to be very similar with the MSI. Maybe even lower. Who knows? A couple more lower degrees. Okay, so this is it. This is the fix custom clamps, one in the middle, and then two little one, one on top, one on the bottom, like this, one on the bottom. I still need to put a bottom one. Who knows? Maybe I'm gonna, after I'm gonna, after I'm gonna do the bottom one, it's gonna be even lower, a couple more degrees. I may even see like under 90s. Who knows? We'll see. So yeah. And also the size is if you wonder this is uh, the smaller one it is like five centimeter okay that's all you need and then the other one is 15 okay that's pretty much it okay peace